All right, so this is my home screen. If it takes you to a different screen when you get in, what you're gonna do is go to this top set of boxes in the corner, click on that, and then click on home. So we're on our home screen. Now I've got a few things here. So it says assignments due. Some of you will have things there, some of you will not. None of you have any assignments that you need to do and turn into me right now. If there are assignments due in this box, it's because there are pieces of music that we've been working on that I want you to be able to find easily. So I went and I found them and I assigned them just so you could click on them easily and get to them. Now down here, you should have a My Methods book spot. If you're in elementary school, you're gonna see Element Essential Elements 2000. If you're in choir, you'll probably see a book of solos for your for um, solo voice. If you are in high school band, you should see technique and musicianship. So I'm going to show you how to do some stuff here in that and the um, any other piece you want to play will work the same way as the method book. So we're opening a method book. It doesn't give you a choice to select your instrument because you're already in there as your main instrument. But when you go to movement, it's going to give you all the things in, in the book that you can play all the numbers. So I'm going to go down here to number 17, Hot Cross Buns. We're going to open up Hot Cross Buns. So even if you don't have your book or your music at home, if you have access to smart music, um, you can still practice. You can still find things to play. You can do all the lines in your book. All right, so I've got Hot Cross Buns opened up here. Now, right here, I have some options to select different songs in the book. I can also use a back and forth. I can actually... Reopening it. I can also reselect an instrument if I want to practice a different instrument. Some of you double. All right, now here's what I've got on my screen. I have hot cross buns, a cursor, the measures highlighted that it's starting on. Up here at the top, I have tracks selected. Now under the tracks controls, I have my accompaniment. I can toggle that on and off. I can change the volume. And that's going to be what plays in the background while I play. I can also toggle on and off my part. And I can toggle on and off the metronome, the clicks that you're going to hear. Now underneath that, I've got a tempo control. I can go faster. I can slow, go slower. The number is the number of beats per minute. Some of this other stuff we're not going to have to worry too much about right now. And then if I hit play, it's going to play an accompaniment for me. I've got it set right now to play my part two, and I can grab my instrument and play along. So while it's playing, I can use these controls up here to, to turn things on and off if I want to. This setting over here that says no swing, that's if you're playing like a jazz piece or something and you want the eighth notes to swing a little bit. You can change that. All right, now, um, you can also record in here. So if instead of using the green play button, I use this red circle, that's my record button. I'm gonna set this back to the beginning. Wherever you have that cursor set, that's where it's gonna start. So if you wanna start in the middle of a song and practice a particular spot, you can do that. I'm gonna grab my trumpet that I have handy. And I'll record hot cross buns here. Oh, uh, but before you record for the first time, it's going to want to test your microphone. So unplug any headphones you have in, turn the volume up, and we're all set. see some stuff on my screen. All the notes that I played correctly and in the correct rhythm are green. If I made a mistake here or there, it's going to show me that I made a mistake. So right here at the end of this measure, I played a D instead of a C. It shows me the note I should have played and it shows me the note I did play. Over here I played a little early. Over here I played a little late. Now you can control this stuff by going up to assessment and show assessment will toggle that on and off. Now, I've got it set right now to average tolerance. This is how hard it grades you. So if I change that to easy, 
some of those mistakes that I made, um, it's going to kind of forgive. If I change it to strict, I'm going to see more. It's going to get stricter in how it grades. So this actually will grade you and kind of help you along. So if you're not sure how something is going, if you're not sure if you're playing it right, Smart Music can help you figure that out. I can also press this play button that has the record sign next to it, and I can hear what I just did. Now you're going to get a better recording if when you record, you plug headphones into your device and you listen to the accompaniment on headphones and play so that the microphone only picks up your instrument. Right now, um, the microphone is picking up the thing that's also coming from my speaker, so the sound quality isn't very good. So um, use headphones. That's going to make that a better sound quality when you record. All right, now, the other thing you can do up here that I want to show you right now, if you go up here to display, um, if anyone happens to be colorblind, and red and green give you trouble. Um, if you turn on colorblind mode, it just changes the colors of the, the assessment notes to make that a little easier to see. You can also turn off the highlight measure. So if that's bothering you, you don't want it there, you can turn it off. You can turn off the beat cursor and get rid of that too. There's also a zoom option over here if you need something bigger, if you need something smaller, it might be a little too small. But you got some good options there. So. Um, you can go ahead and get started with what we've done now. I am going to show you some other um, some other options and some other features that you can use. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with smart music. Not just your concert songs, not just the stuff from your book. There's a lot of other stuff you can find and play. We'll cover that in another video. For now, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. If you can't get a hold of me by email, if you don't have access to that, um, a message on Remind will work. That'll get to me. Or if you call my phone number on the office, 852-3217. You can leave me a voicemail. Um, I will get that through my email. So please let me know if you have any questions. Happy practicing. Hope you're all doing great.